You have seen this for sure. Don't let erectile dysfunction and get in the way. And if Biosante CEO Stephen Symes gets his way, a new group will be singing a happy tune. Women. I think, Greg, female version of Viagra might be appropriate if we're looking at treatment of female sexual dysfunction. Uh, today in the U.S., there is no product approved, no pharmaceutical product approved for the treatment of female sexual dysfunction. Libby Gel is meant to increase sexual desire and sexual activity in women. Small cap biotech Biosante is in phase three trials for Libby Gel, the last phase before an application for approval. Symes hopes to submit a new drug application in 2010 for marketing in 2011. P&G has a product that they're currently selling in Europe called Intrinza, and that's a patch deals with the same type of female sexual dysfunction. How will Libby Gel compete with that? Where are they and where are you in the approval process? As you mentioned, Greg, Intrinza is being marketed in Europe. It is a testosterone patch. We have a testosterone gel. Uh, interestingly, P&G is not at the current time developing the product for the U.S. market. So we are, we believe, the only company actively developing a testosterone product for female sexual dysfunction in menopausal women. This is potentially a huge market for Libby Gel. How will you tap that market? Will you get a partner to tap it? Because it would be very expensive for you to just go straight to the consumer. Right. Uh, first, I'd like to comment on the size of the market. It turns out that surveys tell us that as many as 43% of American women suffer from female sexual dysfunction at some time in their lives. In terms of the market, we believe Libby Gel has blockbuster potential, which means it has billion dollar potential. And we look forward to signing a license or a partnership with a major company to help us tap into that market. Libby Gel definitely has blockbuster potential, but in order for Biosante to get there, they're going to have to land a big pharma partner. You know, launching a female Viagra is probably going to cost hundreds of millions of marketing dollars, and that's something that Biosante can't do on its own. They're going to need a deep pocketed partner, you know, someone maybe like a Pfizer or a Procter and Gamble. Potential side effects include acne and unwanted hair growth, but should the FDA approve Libby Gel, then you can be sure that investors will embrace Biosante. That is, if Big Pharma does not snatch it up first. Greg Greenberg, TheStreet.com TV. Dysfunction, get in the way.